Welcome to Montana. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Mountain time zone. Ta da! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> It's that time of year when gardens are coming back to life. And if you have plants or flowers, you know this spring has been a cool one, but there's also been several other challenges this spring. Montana is no stranger to cold snaps and wind, but the weather this spring is really affecting plants and flowers. And if your shrubs this year look like this, you're not alone. The arborvitae discoloration this year has to do with the cold snap that we had and the cold winds. What it does is it burns them. It burns the moisture out of them. And so that's what makes them brown or yellowish or they look like they're dead, basically. Ooh, that sounds good. Either or. cheaper than home. <laughs> wow, Big. we're here in downtown. It's better than our downtown. It's 452. 452. Right there. Maybe. Boost their growth. And it's not just evergreens and arborvitae plants. The cold spring has taken its toll on many plants and flowers. We could still see freezing temperatures in Montana, and Gavert has some advice you might not have heard of to protect your plants aside from a few vegetables. You might want to go out with water or turn your sprinklers on and put a layer of ice on them before the sun hits them, and that'll help protect them from freezing. Several things for backyard gardeners to think about, and if that wasn't enough, expect to pay more for plants this year. Just like everything else, prices have gone up. It's just the supply chain trying to catch up with itself again. and. We had to increase, everybody's had to increase this year just to make up for it. In Billings, I'm Matthew Hidalgo, MTN News. It sure was quiet last night. Yeah, that's good. Not a, not a beep or nobody, really. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I did too. Good sleeping yeah, weather. Oh, it was. Very good sleep, I'm going to tell you.
for joining us today. I'm Fritz Hudson Fritz. I'm here live in Thompson Falls. Behind me is the Clark Fork River. And it's really rolling today. Wow. Beautiful day. Be outside. A few clouds around. Wow. Chris, I'll just swing around here at the river and then Thompson Falls there in the background. And here at Thompson Dam, Falls Dam. Oh, impressive. Ta-da. Until next time, applesauce. Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Ta-da. St. Regis claims to be a resort town, but every Memorial Day weekend, it becomes home to Montana's largest flea market. Hundreds of people gather at the community center and surrounding area, finding treasures and trinkets at the 45th St. Regis Flea Market. Maker and flea market vendor Becky Epperson has been coming to the St. Regis market for three years. Although she makes her upcycled goods in her hometown of St. Mary's, Idaho, she couldn't pass up on the trip over to Montana. I guess we all have a little gypsy in us, and it's a lot of fun to go out and meet uh, the other vendors, and a lot of them come from other states, and also all the shoppers. And even in just the, we've done it three years, we still we have people who come back just to see us. Running through Memorial Day weekend, daylight to dusk, the event brings hundreds of vendors and people from around the Northwest filling up boxes, bags, and wagons. The event is also a fundraiser for the community organized by the St. Regis Community Council. In St. Regis, Hannah Hislop, MTN News. Classic Memorial Day storm impacting Southwest Montana. Hello everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurt, back from vacation here on your Memorial Day and some interesting rain reports coming in around the region. East of Gallatin Gateway, get a little higher in elevation, for the entire month of May, they've had over six inches of precipitation. Now, this was some heavy wet snow along with some rain, but a pretty hefty monthly total. Dylan, over the Friday, Saturday, Sunday time frame, uh, you picked up a three-day total of around one and a quarter inches. Butte picked up a record amount of moisture on Sunday, uh, 81 hundredths of an inch there. That's excellent news. You're now over an inch for month-to-day precipitation. Bozeman MSU has a pretty lofty 4.66 inches for the entire month, and Bozeman Hot Springs came in with a little around 2 and 3 tenths over the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. And still, southern Montana is picking up the most beneficial moisture out of this, especially east of the Continental Divide. So one storm system's on the way out. Weak high pressure kind of nudged in between the next storm system, and that could continue to bring some off and on wet weather into the region. But you can see snow is likely at higher elevations with valley rain in there, and some of the heavier snow has been in around West Yellowstone, Reynolds Pass, Cook City, Red Lodge. And as you look at the additional amount of precipitation possible, you could see a quarter to half an inch more. In Bozeman, Red Lodge, Billings, could see around five hundredths of an inch, but that south central area from Gallatin uh, Gateway to Bozeman, 
uh, possibly over towards, uh, oh, let's see, Manhattan. Could be looking at some good rain, but it's really around Cook City and that Red Lodge area and Yellowstone National Park that will continue to see some periods of heavy rain and snow overnight into tomorrow morning. And then the thing falls apart, and it's this hit and miss little pop-up uh, nuisance type precipitation that tries to develop into Wednesday and Thursday. reject the punishment and one of you chose to choose the punishment i thought you were reverse psychology to me and then i was doing that uh, i knew we would no. wind up here uh, yeah. i don't have enough brain power to reverse any psychology uh. why is there pudding and paintbrushes and canvases well the punishment at this stake well, the punishment at stake for this round is... I thought I could get it clean, but I guess not. <laughs> Sticking paintbrushes in your mouth like a walrus, and while making walrus noises, painting your name in pudding. Your full name. And you have three names. Like my legal name? Or, oh, okay, got it, got it. Wait, or what Stephanie. is this? This is a cotton candy pudding? These set? are tusks. Yes, you gotta make some tusks. Yeah. So, uh, uh -huh. What? I, I I can only hear a walrus talking. Ar ar. Ar 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 ar. Yeah. Ar, oh yeah. Ar. Yeah. She's speaking walrus. Put in your tusks. Can I? I need to. Um. I don't like that you're so near my. Well, yeah, well you know what? We should, we should leave her alone. We should leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Leave, don't leave, leave me alone. Leave the walrus lady alone. <laughs> now what, those tusks have to stay in your mouth. Link? They're permanent. Link. I can't even look at what what thing. what are you saying? I can only hear a walrus talking. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you never start writing your name, you're never gonna finish writing your name. My lips aren't strong enough to um you, you can use your hands, but I can't understand you because it's not uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Wow, I'm so glad I got away with this one too. <laughs> I like that. Speaking of markets, the Great Falls Farmers Market opens for the season this coming Saturday, June 4th. It will be open from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. According to the market's Facebook page, there will be new vendors each week. One post asks people what they are most looking forward to and meeting other vendors. Fresh fruits and veggies, seeing everyone, and kettle corn were the responses. Also starting this week, filming for the TV show Yellowstone. The popular series starring Kevin Costner will be filming around the Missoula County Courthouse starting tomorrow. Ryman Street between Broadway and Pine will be closed to all traffic tomorrow and Wednesday. Detours will be clearly marked and the closures will not affect access to the courthouse. If you need to visit the courthouse tomorrow or Wednesday, you may want to allow extra time to find parking or you can take advantage of the county's online option. Take one.
check out the Clark Fork River. Thompson Falls. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. I'm Fritz Atzon Fritz here along the Clark Fork River in Thompson Falls, Montana. Ooh, light rain is currently falling here on the Sunday afternoon. Ah, oh, very tranquil. Uh, let me pan around here. Ooh, lush vegetation. Mmm, springtime. Ding, 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 time. Ah, just like that. <laughs> Until next time. Applesauce. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, safe travels, too. Ta-da. Ceremonies and commemorations are underway all over central Montana, including a solemn gathering at the Montana Veterans Memorial in Great Falls. Volunteers with the Memorial Association recently added 154 tiles to the wall of Montana veterans. Today's ceremony included performances of the Star Spangled Banner and God Bless America. East Helena's annual Memorial Day Parade made its way down East Main Street Monday morning, honoring those who sacrificed for their country. There's lots of us that have served that are very lucky to be, have been able to come back home to our families and our communities. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your evening. Ta-da. We're in Thompson Falls. Montana. Oh, beautiful day. Ah, oh, there you go. Ta -da. What's that? What's that? There you go. That are very lucky to be have been able to come back home to our families and our communities. And I just want to be able to remember all those that have not been able to. The parade featured attendees from Sons and Daughters of the American Revolution members of East Helena's VFW, Boy Scouts, and the pipes and drums of the Black Bear. Morning. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Easy. The importance of this day and how we can all honor those who have died for this country, not just on Memorial Day, but every day. Those were memorializing today, those people that gave their lives for our country. We lose a lot of that spirit. And those are the people that don't come home and don't volunteer for things and don't, you know, give their time. And I think we need to look at ourselves and say that.
Goodbye, Montana. Hello, Idaho. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Montana roads. Yeah. Bet we're back on Pacific time now. Yep. That's good news. <laughs> oh, boy. Bye, everybody. Take care. Ta da. Ta da.